Education in Italy is compulsory from 6 to 16 years of age, and is divided into five stages, kindergarten, scuola dell'infanzia, primary school, scuola primaria or scuola elementare, lower secondary school, scuola secondaria di primo grado or scuola media inferiore, upper secondary school, scuola secondaria di seconda grado or scuola media superiore, and university, università. Education is free in Italy and free education is available to children of all nationalities who are residents in Italy. Italy has both a private and public education system. However, the quality of the public schools is also higher compared to the private schools, in terms of educational and labor market outcomes. History In Italy a state school system or education system has existed since 1859, when the Leg Cassati Cassati Act mandated educational responsibilities for the forthcoming Italian state Italian unification took place in 1861. The Cassati Act made primary education compulsory, and had the goal of increasing literacy. This law gave control of primary education to the single towns, of secondary education to the provinces, and the universities were managed by the state. Even with the Cassati Act and compulsory education, in rural and southern areas children often were not sent to school. The rate of children enrolled in primary education would reach 90% only after 70 years, and the illiteracy rate, which was nearly 80% in 1861, took more than 50 years to have. The next important law concerning the Italian education system was the Leg Gentile. This act was issued in 1923, thus when Benito Mussolini and his National Fascist Party were in power. In fact, Giovanni Gentile was appointed the task of creating an education system deemed fit for the fascist system. The compulsory age of education was raised to 14 years, and was somewhat based on a ladder system. After the first five years of primary education, one could choose the Scuola media, which would give further access to the liceo and other secondary education, or the aviamento al lavoro, work training, which was intended to give a quick entry into the low straits of the workforce. The reform enhanced the role of the Liceo Classico, created by the Cassati Act in 1859, and intended during the fascist era as the peak of secondary education, with the goal of forming the future upper classes, and created the technical, commercial and industrial institutes and the Liceo Scientifico. The Liceo Classico was the only secondary school that gave access to all types of higher education until 1968. The influence of Gentiles' idealism was great, and he considered the Catholic religion to be the fundament and crowning of education. In 1962 the aviamento al lavoro was abolished, and all children until 14 years had to follow a single program, encompassing primary education scuola elementare, and middle school scuola media. From 1962 to the present day, the main structure of Italian primary and secondary education remained largely unchanged, even if some modifications were made, a narrowing of the gap between males and females through the merging of the two distinct programs for technical education, and the optional introduction of mixed-gender gym classes, a change in the structure of secondary school leg berlinguer, and the creation of new lycee, istituti technici, and istituti professionali giving the student more choices in their paths. In 1999, in accordance with the guidelines laid down by the Bologna process, the Italian university system switched from the old system, Vecchio Ordinamento, which led to the traditional five-year Laurea degree, to the new system, Nuovo Ordinamento. The Nuovo Ordinamento split the former Laurea into two tracks, the Laurea Triennale, a three-year degree akin to the bachelor degree, followed by the two-year Laurea Specialistica Master's degree, the latter renamed Laurea Magistral in 2007. A credit system was established to quantify the amount of work needed by each course and exam 25 work hours equals one credit, as well as enhance the possibility to change course of studies and facilitate the transfer of credits for further studies or go on exchange e.g. Erasmus program in another country. However, it is now established that there is just a five-year degree. Laurea Magistral a Cyclo Unico. 
for programs such as law and a six-year degree for medicine. Primary education Scuola Primaria primary school, also known as Scuola Elementare, is commonly preceded by three years of non-compulsory nursery school or kindergarten. Basilo. Scuola Elementare lasts five years. Until middle school, the educational curriculum is the same for all pupils, although one can attend a private or state-funded school, the subjects studied are the same, with the exception of special schools for the blind or the hearing impaired. The students are given a basic education in Italian, English, mathematics, natural sciences, history, geography, social studies, and physical education. Some schools also have Spanish or French, musical arts and visual arts. Until 2004, pupils had to pass an exam to access Scuola Secondaria di Primo Grado, middle school, comprising the composition of a short essay in Italian, a written math test, and an oral test on the other subjects. The exam has been discontinued and pupils can now enter Scuola Secondaria di Primo Grado directly. Usually students start primary school at the age of 6, but students who are born between January and March and are still 5 years old can access primary school early, this is called primina. For example, a student born in February 2002 can attend primary school with students born in 2001. Secondary education Secondary education in Italy lasts eight years and is divided in two stages, Scuola Secondaria di Primo Grado, Lower Secondary School, also broadly known as Scuola Media, which corresponds to the middle school grades, and Scuola Secondaria di Seconda Grado, Upper Secondary School, also broadly known as Scuola Superiore, which corresponds to the high school level. The Scuola Secondaria di Primo Grado lasts three years, roughly from age 11 to 14. The Scuola Secondaria di Seconda Grado lasts five years, roughly from age 14 to 19. Every tier involves an exam at the end of the final year, called SMA di Maturita, required to gain a degree and have access to further university education. While students in lower secondary school stay in their classroom for most of the time, during physical education they go to the gym for example, in high school they will be the one to move from the classroom to the laboratory, but the teacher still has to move from one classroom to another if the lesson is not held in a laboratory. In the lower middle school pupils start school at 8.30 a.m. and finish at 1.30 p.m. Although they can start later, they always have to attend school for at least five hours, with some differences based on the days they attend, while for high school, depending on the school, they attend school five to eight hours a day based on the day of the week and the exact choice of school. Most schools have 10 minutes of recess, although high school students have 15 to 30 minutes depending on how long the day is. For historical reasons, there are three types of Scuola Secondaria di Seconda Grado, subsequently divided into further specialization. Currently all of the secondary schools in Italy have most of the structure and subjects in common for the first two years, primo biennio, such as Italian grammar, history and mathematics, in the last three years, seconda biennio e quinto anno, or triennio, most subjects are peculiar to a particular type of course, i.e. ancient Greek in the Liceo Classico, business economics in the Istituto Tecnico Economico or sonography in the Liceo Artistico, but subjects like Italian, English and mathematics are still taught Liceo, Lyceum, the education received in a Liceo is mostly theoretical, with a specialization in a specific field of studies, humanities, science, or art. Istituto Tecnico, Technical Institute, the education given in an Istituto Tecnico offers both a wide theoretical education and a specialization in a specific field of studies, e.g., economy, humanities, administration, law, technology, tourism, often integrated with a three, six months internship in a company, association or university, from the third to the fifth and last year of study. 
Instituto Profesionale Professional Institute, this type of school offers a form of secondary education oriented towards practical subjects, engineering, agriculture, gastronomy, technical assistance, handicrafts, and enables the students to start searching for a job as soon as they have completed their studies, sometimes sooner, as some schools offer a diploma after three years instead of five. Although it is considered a lower level of school compared to the others, any type of secondary school that lasts five years grants access to the final exam, called SMA di Maturita or SMA di Stato, this exam takes place every year between June and July and grants access to university. In 2013, the Program for International Student Assessment, coordinated by the OECD, ranks the Italian secondary education as the 21st in the world, above the United States and in the OECD average, and observes a wide gap between results in northern Italian schools, which performed significantly better than the national average, among the best in the world in some subjects and southern Italian schools, that had much poorer results. Moreover, students in state-owned schools perform better than students in private schools. An Italian student is 19 when they enter university, while in other countries 18 is the more common age. Higher education Italy has a large and international network of public and state-affiliated universities and schools offering degrees in higher education. State-run universities of Italy constitute the main percentage of tertiary education in Italy, and are managed under the supervision of Italian's Ministry of Education. Italian universities are among the oldest universities in the world. In particular the University of Bologna, founded in 1088, University of Padua, founded in 1222, and the University of Naples Federico II, the oldest public and laic university in the world, are the oldest state universities in Europe. Most universities in Italy are state-supported. There are also a number of superior graduate schools, grandes écoles, or Scuola Superiore Universitaria, offer officially recognized titles, including the Diploma di Perfezionamento equivalent to a doctorate, Dottorato di Ricerca i.e. Research Doctorate or Doctor Philosophia i.e. Ph.D. Some of them also organize courses master. S degree. There are three superior graduate schools with university status, three institutes with the status of doctoral colleges, which function at graduate and postgraduate level. Nine further schools are direct offshoots of the universities, i.e., do not have their own university status. The first one is the Scuola Normal Superiore di Pisa, founded in 1810 by Napoleon as a branch of École Normale Supérieure, taking the model of organization from the famous École Normale Supérieure. These institutions are commonly referred to as schools of excellence, i.e., Scuole di Excellenza. Italy hosts a broad variety of universities, colleges and academies. Founded in 1088, the University of Bologna is likely the oldest in the world. In 2009, the University of Bologna is, according to the Times, the only Italian college in the top 200 world universities. Milan S. Bocconi University has been ranked among the top 20 best business schools in the world by the Wall Street Journal International Rankings, especially thanks to its MBA program, which in 2007 placed it number 17 in the world in terms of graduate recruitment preference by major multinational companies. Bocconi was also ranked by Forbes as the best worldwide in the specific category value for money. In May 2008, Bocconi overtook several traditionally top global business schools in the Financial Times Executive Education Ranking, reaching number 5 in Europe and number 15 in the world. Other top universities and polytechnics include the Università Cattolica del Sacro Cuore in Milan, the Louis in Rome, the Polytechnic University of Turin, the Politecnico di Milano, which in 2011 was ranked as the 48th best technical University in the world by QS World University Rankings, the University of Rome La Sapienza, which in 2005 was Europe's 33rd best university, and ranks among Europe's 50 in the world. 
S150 Best Colleges and in 2013, the Center for World University Rankings ranked the Sapienza University of Rome 62nd in the world and the top in Italy in its World University Rankings, and the University of Milan, whose research and teaching activities have developed over the years and have received important international recognition. The university is the only Italian member of the League of European Research Universities LARU, a prestigious group of 20 research-intensive European universities. It has also been awarded ranking positions such as first in Italy and seventh in Europe, the Leiden Ranking, Universite at Leiden. According to National Science Indicators 1981-2002, a database produced by Research Services Group containing listings of output and citation statistics for more than 90 countries, Italy has an above-average output of scientific papers, in terms of number of papers written with at least one author being from Italy, in space science 9.75% of papers in the world being from Italy, mathematics 5.51% of papers in the world, computer science, neurosciences, and physics physics, the lowest, but still slightly above world average, output in terms of number of papers produced is recorded in the social sciences, psychology and psychiatry, and economics and business. Summary Compulsory education is highlighted in yellow. See also Secondary education in Italy Higher education in Italy List of schools in Italy Open access in Italy References External links Information on Education in Italy, OECD, contains indicators and information about Italy and how it compares to other OECD and non-OECD countries Diagram of Italian Education System, OECD, using 1997 ISCED classification of programs and typical ages. Also in Italian.